Hello student, today let us learn about the need of educational philosophical knowledge to a teacher. Introduction Education is the sacred necessity of life. It works like a catalyst for a better social desirable life. The catalytic action of education in this complex and dynamic growth needs to be planned meticulously and with great sincerity by the human personality that is the teacher. Rabindranath Tagore rightly said, a teacher can never truly teach unless he is still learning himself. A lame can never light another lame unless it continues to burn its own flame. A teacher is a person who helps others to acquire knowledge, competencies, or value. They also play a great role towards education and shape up both the present and the future of a student. A basic understanding of the philosophical themes on the part of all teachers regarding ancient and contemporary philosophical system of thought will enable them to reorient their own philosophy and beliefs, help them to understand the problematic situation in the classroom discipline, under achievement of students and many such other problems and will eventually enable them to determine the manner in which they will handle these problems. Now, let us find out what is educational philosophy. Educational philosophy may be defined as the application of the fundamental principles of a philosophy of life to the works of education. It is the practical application of philosophical assumption to the various aspects of education to answer such educational questions as aims, values, curriculum, methods, discipline, and so on. It is the educationist approach to solve educational problems by referring to the philosophy of a society or nation, its goals, ideals, values, norms of behavior, and especially the nature of reality, the corpus of knowledge, and the value system. According to Ross, philosophy and education are like the sides of a coin, presenting different views of the same thing and that one is implied by the other. It is a fact that plan of education draws its nourishment from the soil of philosophy and philosophy answers all the ultimate questions of education. Now, who is a teacher? Education is considered as the most powerful weapon of life to get victory and success. This great responsibility and job is given to the teachers to nourish and shape up the lives of young ones and future of their country through teaching and learning process. Therefore, teachers are mentors and they play an active role in inculcating independent thinking in students. However, to do that as a teacher, one must have a teaching philosophy of his own. As students always look up to their teachers and therefore it becomes necessary for teachers to have thoughts to inspire them. Now, let us find out why the need of educational philosophical knowledge is required for a teacher. Possessing the knowledge of educational philosophy and understanding them will enable the teacher to answer specific questions as why to educate. Educational philosophy helps in determining the aims of education. A teacher or an educator finds himself helpless in arriving at the aims of education if he lacks the knowledge of related circumstances and problems. The teacher and the thought must be very clear about the aims of education so that right efforts are made in the right direction. 
Aims will serve as a map, which provides direction to move ahead. It is always needed to make informed movement and is not possible to make students learn something until the teacher knows why and how he or she wants to teach. Once you know your part, you will be helping your students to plan to reach into their destinations. All other aspects of education, that is the curriculum, the methods of teachings, and the types of discipline, etc., are dependent on the aims and objectives of education. Now, the next question is whom to educate? Knowledge of educational philosophy by a teacher enables them to identify the child for whom the education is meant and teaches a teacher the concept of not prejudicing the personality of its student, but rather enable them to consider all students equally which should not affect the unique potential and capabilities of its student. Educators are required to teach creativity, autonomy and curiosity to all students without compromising with their intellectual levels. The idea is to avoid giving up on a pupil who is a low-level learner. Philosophy teaches that ideology where you train with an unbiased attitude background will help ensure that these values are cultured in the students. Knowledge of educational philosophy by a teacher would enable them to be able to view and analyze from the perspective of the students. Apart from understanding why students are behaving in a particular way, teachers would also be able to know how students perceive their actions. This helps them adapt better teaching strategies and guidance, eventually resulting in improvement. Next is, what are the contents of education? Contents of education or curriculum must have sound philosophical support. Educational philosophy provides adequate support to the educator while he is engaged in formulating the contents for the young members of a society. It is educational philosophy that determines what items of knowledge must go to build a sound epistemological base for the young learners. And the next question is, who is to educate? In the process of education, teacher is the pivotal point, the heart of the matter, and its role is to educate. The teacher influences the personality of the child and instills in him a thoughtful awakening, a new life and beliefs. To be a successful teacher, it is essential for him to know the philosophy of education and its related ingredients. Teachers are termed as the future makers of the community. They can leave a profound impact on students and help them make independent decisions in the near future. The core values that your students learn from you today are going to be applied and used in the society as they grow up. Philosophy also teaches about unifying each pupil and the teacher as one body to ensure harmony. The idea is to work together to create a better citizen who diligently serves his community and keeps check on his or her morality. Through the educational philosophical knowledge, teacher can understand how to deal with the students and unite them as one. Even the students will then be able to confidently speak to the teacher as if he or she is their friend. Next we have where to educate. The teacher must understand that school is a place where the principles of philosophy are put into use. Behind every school and every teacher is a set of related beliefs, a philosophy of education that influences what and how students are taught. A philosophy of education represents answers to questions about the purpose of schooling, a teacher's role and what should be taught and by what methods. Besides, school is not the only agency for this purpose. There are other agencies also to translate the philosophical thought into practice. The teacher should also keep this aspect in view. Next, we have how to educate. This involves the techniques of imparting information and knowledge so that children will acquire wisdom to make their lives worth living. Every educational system is based upon specific teaching methodologies. What should be the teaching methodology? 
The answers are given by philosophy, so education is dependent on philosophy for guidance in many areas. In conclusion, education is a practical activity. Every educational practice is illuminated with the backdrop of philosophy. The speculative, normative and critical functions of philosophy affects not only the direction of moral guidance that the teacher gives, but also affects the direction and emphasis on the curriculum, the teacher's attitude from day to day, even from hour to hour. No practice is good and scientific unless rooted in philosophical thought, which gives logic, rational, sequence and system to education. Since philosophy speaks the language of analysis and reason, there is hardly any problem of the teacher which is not solved by philosophy. Relationship between education and philosophy is very close. They are called the two sides of the same coin. That's why educationists and teachers must have basic information about various educational philosophies in order to know the whole nature of a specific educational ends.